Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Golden Girl 7 and today's subscription box I have for you is the January 2021 Sensory Thera Play Box. This box is the um, kids box, so it's $40.95 a month. Um, if you don't know what the Thera Play Box is, it's um, a subscription service that sends about five to eight items geared towards sensory therapy input. It's designed for kids on the spectrum, but it can be for all kids. Um, so there'll be like visual input, there'll be tactile, which is touch input, there'll be auditory input for your, so different toys that help with um, the development of different sensory needs. So I personally subscribe to this box. I really like it. I, my job is I work with children and adults on the spectrum. So I use this as part of my work to help um, motivate and educate people on the spectrum. However, this is not just for people on the spectrum. It could be for anyone. Um, there's a lot of cool toys in here. There's a lot of toys that help with um, discussing t different topics like nature or if kids need help calming down there's sometimes there's tools in here that kids get really upset they can kind of shake that toy and look at it and remember to take deep breaths to help calm down so it could be for anyone it doesn't have to just be people um, with differing abilities so without further ado I'm gonna get into it if I didn't mention before this box is um, a monthly subscription and it's $40.95 a month they do have a toddler box and they have a teens and adult box but this is the kids box so this is the first thing when you get into it they always include um, an inspirational card this one says believe in yourself and we can all relate to that a very cute card and then we have, I'm going to try, so this is all our stuff on top. They always have this great Foozle packing tape. Um, what's a great idea is you can have your kids get into this and unpack it themselves because when they go through and they get into it, it gives them that tactile input. Um, just be aware that it might be a little bit messy cleaning up. So on the bottom, they should have an, a cheat sheet, an information sheet on all the things. This box was designed by an occupational therapist, and she gives the specifics as to why she picks out each item and then how to implement the item into the child's sensory diet. So we get six items. And our first item is the Mad Matter ultimate brick maker. Now I actually do have Mad Matter, but I do not have this specific one. And I think that the Mad Matter is amazing. I love it. It gives a lot of good tactile input, but this this one as a brick builder um, provides imaginative input too. So very cool. I like the blue color. Let me tell you why she picked this one. Included in this kit is two ounces of Mad Matter, a unique molding material that never dries out. It's easy to clean up and is wheat, gluten, and casein free. Stuff the brick mold with some of the included Mad Matter, squeeze together to put it tight, and then take apart to create a perfect Lego-like brick. Stack up your bricks any way you want and squish them down using your fingers to press down on the bricks. This little kit is great for working on fine motor skills and can be used as an activity before handwriting or schoolwork to help wake up warm, wake up or warm up the small muscles of the hands and it's valued at $7.99. So it gives you that tactile input, it gives you that deep pressure input, and it helps with imagination building. So, very cool. Our next item is the Instant Snow Mix and one gallon of Snow Wonder. And it is a little of this goes a long way. Our recommendation is not to use the whole packet at once, but to use a few teaspoons at a time and use the packet up over the course of a few days or weeks. This snow has a fun, fluffy feel to it. It makes for an interesting sensory experience. Used for a sensory craft activity or for simply squishing and touching. Snow Wonder is also perfect for using to make cloud and jelly slime. And it's valued at $7.95. And then it tells you on the back how to make it. So very cool. 
we're getting a lot of tactile input in this box. Again, tactile, for those of you who aren't familiar, is touch. So a lot of um, input through your skin. And a lot of my kiddos, they don't, um, they don't have the cognitive awareness of how hard they push on things. So they're not physically aware of the force that they have. So like um, with the Mad Matter, that physical input to push and to squeeze is really good. So this is really good for them. And then the Wiki Sticks, what we actually use, the Wiki Sticks for in our classroom is we'll put um, them on a piece of paper and we'll outline the child's name. So if their name starts with like the letter A, we'll take the Wiki Stick and we will put it on the paper and then the kid will trace it first with their finger so that they're feeling the letter of the A and how it's made and then they'll take a pencil and then they'll you know come up next to the line to make that letter A. So I really like the wiki sticks when it comes to um, work in the classroom but you can also use it in other ways too. Let's see how she wants you to use it. She said the wiki sticks are fun reusable wax covered yarn strip they will not break or tear apart, but do cut easily with scissors. They're excellent for learning letters and numbers like we do in the classroom. It can be pressed together for 3D creativity too. There's no right or wrong way to play with wiki sticks. You can twist them together to make different shapes and designs or simply use as a hand fidget to manipulate and wrap around your fingers. They have interesting, pleasant texture and are fun to play with. They are valued at $1. So then on the back, it also has a little dot to dot, which is cute, but I'm going to take the wiki sticks out of the packaging so that you can get a better idea of what they look like. And they are sticky. They're wax sticked. So this is what they look like. You can see they have that texture to them and they're a little bit sticky. So very cute. And then our little book here includes a nice little dot to dot activity and then it gives you some ideas about how you can use your wiki sticks. I like that. All right, our next item is a big item. And it's Heads Talk, Tails Walk. And it looks like a game. And so a lot of my kiddos have a hard time with social awareness and a lot of them actually have varying levels of social anxiety and so the social games really help to bring out how to socialize with friends and then um, to kind of mediate that social anxiety and to kind of channel it into like fun um, positive experiences. So this game Heads talk, tails walk. Can you hop like a frog while clucking like a chicken? Have fun trying with the silly movement game. Players try to match hidden head tiles to the correct body tiles. If the head and body don't match, the fun begins, and players need to walk and talk like the mismatched tiles. This game is great for strengthening cognitive, visual, perceptual skills, and working on a social skill such as turn-taking. In addition, walking and crawling to mimic the animals provides heavy work and proprioceptive sensory input, which is organizing and can help improve body awareness. This is valued at $15.99. So super cute game. And there's the back, and three to five players, and then there's all the different cards you can make. Super cute game. We will definitely be using that in my classroom. All right, Let's see if we have one more item, two more items. This is a cute little guy. He's a dino snapper. And it says baby dino snapper. This baby dino opens and closes with the flex of a finger. Use your imagination to get silly with this mini finger puppet valued at $2.99. You kind of input the finger and the thumb and then you make him go up and down. So this is really fine motor input. You might have kids struggle with this. Um, you can also put it on top of your pencil, too. Like, even I'm struggling with putting my fingers in here. Um, so just be aware of that. If it's getting too frustrating or if you can see that your student or child is not having fun, then, you know, it's not it's not a good idea to force it. It's designed to be fun, and it's designed to help 
in um, a play environment. So if it's getting too much, it's okay to say, hey, okay, let's take a break, let's stop. Maybe this isn't for my kiddo. And there's always a disclaimer that this isn't designed specifically for one person. So it might not be your individual's needs and that's okay. So just be aware of that when you get this um, different types of toys and activities. He's cute though, a little T-Rex. I like his red color. I like his cute little tongue and his teeth. And then he's got the blue on top. Very nice. And then our last item is the Unworry Magic Painting Book. Super cute. Got your little um, paintbrush there. And I think you paint with water. So you just get the paintbrush wet and then the colors kind of reveal themselves. So it says, the Unworry Magic Painting Book, Everybody Worries. This book is a way to help you put your unwanted thoughts to the side and focus on the here and now instead, so mindfulness. Um, simply wet the paintbrush and brush over the pages to see them burst into color. 16 detailed pictures include under the sea, meadow, and rainforest scenes plus calming patterns and mandalas to color. Overall, this is a wonderful calming activity to work on fine motor and visual motor skills. It valued at $9.99. So, very pretty. And here's the back. And that was our box for this month. My favorite item is probably the Mad Matter. I really like that. And I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of that in my classroom. But overall, I think it was a good box. Um, let me know your opinion. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more amazing unboxing content. And thank you so much for being a part of my community. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you for sticking with me. Goodbye.